Hi Cancer, welcome to your mid-March update, love and relationships reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Cancer, let's get straight into the reading. I'm going to pull a message here from Spirit uh, for you. I'm going to take this one actually, the first one that jumped out. The Fairy Ring, New Skills, Advanced Training, Rapid Improvements. Some of you may be going back to school, others of you may be learning on the job. I do get that. There's a feeling here of being in a new environment, perhaps feeling a little bit out of your depth, but you're going with it. I feel like it's something that is going to increase, increase your, uh, your money, which is great news, increase your skills, of course, and uh, provide you with some kind of forward or upwards motion. So let's see where that goes. Uh, cancer, let's take a look at uh, the energy that is around you, uh, around the, the person that you're dealing with. Let's take a look at them. A person that Cancer is dealing with here, mid to late March. What is the energy around the, a person that Cancer is dealing with? The person that you're mainly focused on here, Cancer. It could be uh, someone that's helping you here learn these new skills. There is an energy of rapid development. That one's jumped on the floor. Excuse me a moment. Sorry about that, guys. It was the Nine of Swords. Okay. So this person here, um, oh gosh, there, there seems to be something here. Uh, there's something good happening for you. I feel you're doing okay. The other person though, there's something hidden. I don't feel that they're coming out and speaking about some kind of hidden stress or worry, something that's on their mind. So we'll see where that goes. Could be a, uh, a friend, a family member, doesn't have to be a lover, but it could also be a lover or a spouse. Let's look at the connecting energy, Cancer. The connecting energy between these two people, please, Spirit Guides. What is the connecting energy? The connecting energy, I don't feel that was it. The connecting energy between these two people, please, Spirit Guides. What? Okay. We have finding, and I'm going to take that one too because they came out together. Finding forgiveness. This person seems to want your forgiveness, Cancer. I feel like they've had something here that they wanted to get, they wanted to speak about that they haven't, they've been very stressed and worried about speaking about it to you and they uh, they seem to it seems to require an apology on on their behalf so uh, let's see cancer i'm going to use the modern love tarot for uh, this reading i've already been meditating on your energy cancer but i wanted to do a few more shuffles here guys mid to late march What's going on here for Cancer and their love and relationships? Okay, let's get started here. We'll start with the past energy, present energy, your feelings, the other person's feelings. What are the positives, the negatives of this situation, your hopes, your fears? What are you aiming for, Cancer? What are you trying to avoid? What's happening around you? Other people that may be involved? Any action to be taken? What's hidden or unexpected? And the potential outcome? Okay. Somebody here wants your forgiveness, Cancer. Of course, this can be opposite way around, as you guys know. But let's take a look. Past energy, two of swords. <clears throat> so Cancer, there was a lot of waiting around between the two of you. I'm, I'm getting this from Spirit. I feel at one point 
you had you were waiting to make a choice about this person and it flip-flopped and then it feels like the other person may have may have kind of turned that around and now they're procrastinating so it seems like a, one person here was reluctant to make a choice about this connection then a choice was made and then I feel then there was a hesitation from the other person but I do feel that at one point the other individual you was kind of pushing for you to make this choice cancer mm, okay present energy justice yeah I, I feel Cancer, there's a strong energy here of, okay, I'm getting this. I feel it's you, I feel it, it's you. you, you want, you don't feel this is fair, that you were put, yeah, I feel that there's a strong energy that you wanted to, goodness, I'm getting a lot of messages here, guys, but, I'm getting this has gone on for some time and it's flip-flopped a lot this decision making like one person trying to make the decision to be together and then the other person and then it flip-flops back again and now I feel like the decision is in you've made the choice I feel you've made the choice to be with this person cancer your feelings the six of pentacles in reverse but now you feel like this person is not it's not working out and you're thinking to yourself well you were so gung-ho you wanted this you wanted to be with me you were kind of making me choose here and now that I've made the choice it seems like it's it's <laughs> It feels like you're not giving you're not getting what you thought you would out of this situation and you want justice I feel like you, you don't feel like this is fair uh, that this person hasn't given you what you needed it, it's like um, you've upheld your end of the bargain by making this choice but they have not fulfilled their end of the bargain now they may even actually be uh, withdrawing uh, hesitating or even changing their mind I, I get this energy of someone changing their mind here cancer and uh, feel free to flip this out of it this could be you but uh, I've got it as the other person changing their mind the other person's feelings the four of swords okay so they, they seem to have withdrawn they've taken they're taking their time here to make a choice oh, gosh yeah but it was i get this strong flip-flopping energy between the two of you that's why this one's a, a little bit difficult but um you've you waited a long time i feel like you, you did wait a long time to make this choice and you made the choice and now this person is not um fulfilling their end of the bargain i actually feel like they have withdrawn here cancer hmm the positives the ace of pentacles <coughs> rapid improvements new skills i feel like this connection has some kind of uh, I get it as a new start I get it as a, a leveling up it feels like this has opportunity around it to uh, to make money or to be uh, more prosperous in life it feels like that it feels like you've you, I feel like you've chosen this person or this option let's just say that because there is a there's money attached to it there's something here that provides you with uh, the ability to to get ahead in life to have uh, to have better opportunity for to make money the negatives the eight of pentacles in the reverse mm. but now the other person does. gosh 
it's one of those things where once you once it's like the idea of it gosh this one's a difficult one guys the idea of this situation was very um, well I get it mainly to do with uh, prosperity guys uh, getting ahead in life uh, rapid improvements in money it, but it was it, it feels like it's very unequal between the two of you one person here is has already I feel this money the other person doesn't Mm. yeah it was all good in on paper it was all good in theory and then in practice I feel like this is not working out why well because I feel like one person the person with the money doesn't want to give I feel that they were giving initially in order to receive something from you cancer but then once they got you i feel like they've they've changed this person can be quite uh, thrifty uh they're not they're not much of a giver in reality uh, i feel like it was for show it was some um, something that they were putting out there to make themselves appear to be something that they weren't uh, I, I feel that you're coming to the realization that you're not receiving here as much as you thought you would from this particular person and not just money but i feel uh, in in many aspects uh, time effort love even if this is a love situation i get this person once they get you uh, there's some second thoughts there's some mm, about this giving situation this individual was being generous but I, I feel like they've withdrawn that generosity now your hopes here cancer we've got the knight of pentacles in the reverse i feel it's it's a person that you're dealing with um uh, it may be someone here who is uh, very practical in nature I, I don't feel like there's a lot of watery energy around this individual uh, they i'm sensing them as someone who is very much focused on the coin focused on their uh, their money not so much their career i just feel like this person is a saver is a hoarder uh, they're a collector there's someone who once they get the money they don't really give it out uh, you know there's no flow there uh, watery energy around you cancer is you are a giver but you give in order to receive and and, and it goes around and around in a circle there's more of a flow you know it's how our economy runs right we if we all just hoarded our money and didn't spend it then we'd be in terrible shape so there's an energy here of this person hoarding they, they get their money uh, they have given in order to receive something from you cancer but now I feel that's stopped and you're, you're hoping that it restarts you're, you're hoping that this person here will start again to um, to be who they were who you were originally attracted to someone who's generous um, mm. your fears the five of swords you fear that you've been you've been had here to be quite honest cancer it feels like you were expecting some kind of uh, improvement in your life this person offered you i feel like they offered you prosperity but then it all kind of dried up i'm getting that and now there's a lot of conflict here uh, it seems like uh, the two of you are uh, at each other's throats when it comes to i feel it's talking talking about money uh, money seems to have gotten in the way and uh, it's a little bit like having that idealistic relationship 
of wow when I'm with that person it's going to be fantastic all my all my money woes are going to be gone uh, we're going to share this love we're going to get together we'll, 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 we'll maybe get married one day have a house and, and do all of that and then when you're actually with the person you've made the choice to be with that person suddenly you realize gosh this is not the dream that I thought it was it seems like there's a big dose of reality here guys the aims we have the Sun in reverse well you obviously you're aiming for happiness you're hoping that this is just a temporary blip and that things will get back on track with this person they seem to have gone into a bit of a um, I'm picking up that this person has ups and downs, uh, highs and lows, um, they're very changeable uh, and they're changeable in their mood and, and they're very changeable in their decisions and I get that this person may have, may be wavering in their, in their choice, Cancer. Now what you're trying to avoid here is the Emperor I feel this is somebody else this is someone around you who I feel uh, they seem to be in the right I'm getting an energy around them of I told you so I warned you about this person I told you that they were going to be like this and so you're trying to avoid them cancer because you, you you don't want to admit that they were right that they that you have possibly made a mistake here I feel that you had a choice between this Emperor and this Knight of Pentacles and I mean look at the difference between these two you've got an Emperor someone who is a, uh, a leader and uh, very strong uh, uh, there's maturity here this is someone who takes responsibility for themselves their actions takes responsibility for others as well this is someone who is a uh, protector a, uh, a father figure type person and I feel you had a choice between them and this other individual here who is coming up as a knight of pentacles who not only that but they're in the reverse so you've got someone here who is uh, I get someone who is very uh, this is a hedonistic kind of energy that I'm picking up uh, someone who just wants to have a good time um, they're, they're, they're generally I'm also getting a selfish kind of energy around this uh, they're, they're very focused on the money but only in terms of um, keeping it for themselves really they will spend but it's usually just for hedonistic purposes pleasure seeking things that are uh, benefit them in the moment but in reality they're not uh, they're not a generous type of person especially with their with their I with well I'm getting not getting a whole lot of love around this person to be honest with you guys this person is very closed off when it comes to their emotion the Emperor may appear to be that way but he has a lot of um, care a lot of uh, supportive energy around him but yet you're trying to avoid this person okay in the environment we've got the seven of wands yeah you, you don't want to hear you don't want to hear other people and they're well uh, to be honest with you it, it feels like they're actually trying to have you see reason here cancer you don't want to hear it and uh, you know that's the way it always is isn't it guys I mean we, we get involved with people who are not so good for us our, our friends our family can see it and uh, and we put up the hand there and say thanks for the warning but uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do this anyway other people around you we've got the knight of cups in the reverse well that's this person 
and I feel like this is someone that has come in with some kind of uh, empty promise that they are uh, not capable of fulfilling it's it's like they filled your head with all of these I get promises this person did promise you a kind of life a kind of lifestyle uh, you know uh, come this way and, I, and I'll give you uh, whatever you want you know I, I've got the fancy this that and the other I've got all of this money in the bank Let, let's do this and then you realize that it's all just pie in the sky this person may not even have that or if they do they're certainly not willing to share I'm getting that an action to be taken two of wands in reverse yeah I feel like this person here is is withdrawing from this decision they, they feel like they've made a wrong choice and you're doubting as well now I feel you, you deep down you, you are starting to think that maybe this was the wrong choice what's hidden two of cups Mm. there's some kind of relationship here that where there is love and I don't feel it's between you and this person I actually feel it's this is a love for another person now it could be you perhaps having love for this Emperor or it could be this Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles person who may have love for another person. But I feel it, it mainly, it, it could be you here, Cancer. Uh, this person seems to want your forgiveness because they may still be in love with somebody else. Perhaps an ex. So let's see where this goes, Cancer, in the uh, extended reading. I'll be pulling over the outcome card. We'll see where uh, where this ends up. I'll be clarifying, going a lot further in depth. But before we get to the extended, and if you're interested in that, the link will be down below. It'll be about a 30, 40 minute reading. I'm going to pull a card from the Oracle of Visions. If you prefer a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com or feel free to purchase directly at my Etsy shop. That link is also in the box below. Please like, share and subscribe as well. The best way you can uh, support my channel right now is to get the word out. Let people know where to find me. My channel name is Gypsy Insights by Michelle. I'd love your support by sharing me on your social media. And of course, there are other ways to support the channel as well by clicking on the join button below or looking in the box for the link. You can get early access to the readings too if you're interested in that, if you're a regular watcher. Okay, Cancer, let's take a look. The message here for Cancer. Please, Spirit Guides. Okay, that one went flying. Oh, yes. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Well, this was kind of like a wolf in sheep's clothing. I don't think you saw this person. It's true nature until it's too late. Other people gave you warnings, but I think you walked down this path hoping for the best. But it seems like now that you've gone down the, this this path, I get the other person here has second thoughts, is doubting the doubting their choice, and they seem to want your forgiveness here, Cancer. But they've led you down the garden path. I feel like this person promised you all sorts of things and then were able, unable to fulfill those promises. So let's see where this goes in the extended. Again, I'll be pulling over the outcome card there. If this is your story, please do join me there. General reading won't be for everyone, of course. And, you know, Cancer, it seems like I get that this person is helping you get ahead. You seem to have made a choice here based on what this person can provide to you. Some kind of leveling up. Uh, you may be in a, you're either in a course of study and this person is helping you with that, or it's a job, or they're giving you a job. 
they're offering you an opportunity to work with them in some way. There's something that they're giving to you in order to, uh, to propel you forward, uh, that's going to help you get more money, uh, that kind of thing here. But there's a lot of danger involved with this as well because I feel like this person, person can be very fickle. I, do, I feel that there's also this kind of um, energy around you of uh, people warning you uh, against going down this road as well. Uh, I, I, I don't know, it feels like a choice between love or in a love relationship and a relationship that will help you get ahead with uh, with your money or your work or your course of study some of you may even be getting uh, like exam help i'm getting that a test of some kind uh cancer so let's see where this goes in the extended again the uh, the link is down below if you're interested please do join me there it'll be about a 30 minute reading i'll be turning over that card there to see what the outcome is and we'll see where this goes if you'd prefer a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or feel free to check out my etsy shop to purchase directly there the link is also in the box below please like share and subscribe I'd love to have you if you're a newcomer. If you're a regular viewer, uh, please get the word out. Uh, help me uh, support my channel in that way. It would be fantastic. Uh, share me on your social media. Let uh, friends and family know where to find me. My uh, YouTube channel is Gypsy Insights by Michelle. Wishing you the best with this, uh, guys. Uh, cancer, please do take care. I'll see you in the extended or I'll speak to you again very soon.